What is going on everybody? This is Darius from Auto Fair Nissan here and today we're going to be taking a quick look at this 2021 Honda Pilot. As you can see here, this is the special edition, so this is going to have some upgrades over the regular base Pilot trims. Taking a look at the side profile here, you can see that the, this SUV sits on the higher side as far as overall height goes, which is going to help you with some ground clearance as well as visibility. Moving down towards the side here, below the nice body lines along the door handle, you're going to see you do have running boards here, as well as these nice blacked out 20 inch wheels. And around the back here, you can see the style here. And we're gonna just pop the uh, lift gate open here right from the key fob. So that's gonna go up. And as that's going up, we're gonna take a quick peek down here. You can see this does have a trailer hitch and a seven tra trailer connector that comes with it. Now moving into here, since that door is open, you can see the seats. So when you fold down the third row, it's gonna sit nice and flat. Uh, you've also got seating for three in the third row, as well as car seat um, overhead anchors that latch in right there. If we want to put these seats down, we just give this a pull. Headrest is going to come down and let it fall. Easy enough, right? Got a little bit of extra storage underneath here, plus the hitch that comes with it right on the side. You just have to get the ball for it, depending on what your needs and use is going to be. We can also close this up right from up top there. Let's let that close and go around give you a side profile the passenger side very nice let's go and look at the inside now taking a look at the back seats you can see here it's all leather interior you can see another three here plus you're gonna have climate controls and usb plugins down here and the nice all-weather floor liners now down on the side here we're gonna have a few different things we're gonna have a button right here that's gonna be for your third row entry mode so if we give that a push you can see there that springs forward and that is on rail so you can access the back. Those seats are still down from before, but you get the idea. Now, you can also access that from the third row so you don't get trapped back there if somebody decides to leave you behind. <laughs> now, let's just drop that back into place. Take a look down at this lever, give that a pull, and that's gonna spring down for if you need to use that second row for cargo space as well. So you've got plenty of room here if you do need to utilize the extra cargo availability. Now, looking at the door over here real quick, you are going to have your cup holders up top, some extra storage down below, as well as these handy little shades that pop right out. I love those. Pathfinder has those. Pilot has those. They're really nice, really convenient. And they just drop right back down, stow in the inside. Easy enough. Let's go look in the driver's seat. Before we even get into the seat here, you can see a few features. You're going to have one-touch windows for the driver and passenger, two memory seat positions, and down here we're going to have a remote trunk button as well as our fuel cap pop button so give that a press fuel caps right here on the driver's side and that is a capless style as well all right now that we're on the inside let's take a look at some features here down in this lower panel you're going to have your lane departure warning on and off button your forward collision avoidance on and off button as well as traction control on and off button mirror adjustments and economy mode are going to be right above it Coming up here, you're going to see you do have automatic headlights and fog lights right here. Paddle shifters on the steering wheel so you can manually adjust your gear from either side. Um, on the left-hand side, you're going to have your controls for your music and your menus, all your voice control stuff. And on the right-hand side, we're going to have all of our cruise control stuff. And this does have a steering assist feature, which is very convenient if you do do a lot of highway driving. Now, on the middle screen here, this is going to be digital in the center. So you can adjust those menus to whatever best fits your need on any particular drive. Uh, as you can see here on the previous uh, 1,100 miles, it's been averaging about 20 and a half miles per gallon. That's going to greatly depend on your personal driving habits, though. So if you drive a little bit more uh, light on the pedal, you can get a little higher. But if you're trying to race around everywhere, you can expect to just kind of take a little bit of a hit. Coming over to the infotainment system here, you can see you do have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capabilities. Uh, you just have to connect the phone to... Uh, the vehicle, depending on which one you have, that'll become available for you. Now, dual zone climate control is going to be on here uh, for the front, plus the additional zone for the rear. So with the rear, you press that. You can hear that fan kick on for the back, and you can control that from either up here or in the back uh, row of seating. Um, all the controls right here, super, super easy. Heated mirrors are going to come on with the defroster as well. Um, so you've got that going for you also. Heated seats for both driver and passenger are going to be right here with three different modes for high, medium, low, and then off. Get a USB plug-in, 12-volt plug-in right there. A little covers for them to keep it nice and tidy looking. As well as right here, you can have a wireless phone charger. 
One of the biggest differences in this pilot that you're going to see compared to most other cars is going to be the shifter right here. So this is your actual shifter. You don't have like a like a, a physical grab handle or anything. Um, so right now it's in park. I've got my foot on the brake. If we want to go into reverse, we're just going to pull back on that. You can see the camera pop up here. You got your three different views. So you've got the wide angle, standard angle, and then an, a drop down view. Great for getting lined up on, on like the line of a spot or anything like that. And then that set of lines on there is going to move with you as the steering wheel turns and then turn to yellow when you're straight. Now we've got neutral just to push button, drive and sport mode. If you toggle between those, we'll give you your, uh, your different selections right on the dashboard there. You can see the D and the S changing back and forth. And then back down here for park, just push at the park button. Easy enough, right? Now back here to get some extra storage and a little sliding adjustable uh, tray for some of your little odds and ends. Some extra plugins right down the bottom here. Let's see if I can zoom in on that for you. Another USB, another 12 volt, nice and handy. You can get that back into place, get that back in there, and it's all nice and concealed. One of the best things in here though has got to be these armrests. So you can fold them up, you can fold them down, and the driver one is actually uh, on a little ratcheting system, so you can really position it exactly how you want it, if you want it higher or lower, or completely down, or completely up and back. So that's super, super handy. Great little feature that not a lot of cars have. Coming up towards the top here, you're going to have home link on your mirrors. Kind of hard to see a little bit just because of the lighting, but you've got your three garage door uh, programmable buttons, as well as your auto dimmer. That you can turn on and off with a push of the button there and then your controls right up here for your moon roof check that out very nice let's send some good uh good natural light keeps it nice and open feeling in here if there's anything that i didn't cover on here that you were really hoping to see uh feel free to let us know uh give us a call leave a comment on the video either way is fine uh, and then if you do want to see the car in person uh feel free to let us know uh, by phone, that would be the best. Give us a call, 603-580-4598. Uh, or come on down and see it. We're located at 45 Portsmouth Ave in Stratham, New Hampshire. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one.